with Jay Kumaro. You are officially the Hufi and Abraham most valuable player the 2019 Green and Gold Charity Softball game. Bobby's excited about it behind you. Two home runs. Yep. You guys come out on top. How does this feel? Feels great, man. Always feels good to compete against the defense. Come out here, do it for the fans, do it for the city of Green Bay, and it feels good to get the win. We know we see you do things over at Lambeau Field, but this has got to be special. Where does this rank on your career athletic achievements? Oh, man, right behind my first touchdown. This has got to be the, the next, thing, uh, next thing up, next thing at bat. Uh, feels good for the boys, you know. We, uh, we came out here, worked hard. Uh, me and Bobby, you know, we had our regiment uh, leading up to the game, a.k.a. Bobby Biceps. We, uh, we hit the gym and get the biceps in so we can get ready for these home runs. He wins the home run derby. You're the MVP. Sounds like a pretty good ending. Hey, you know, that's why we're in the gym getting these biceps. That's my the guy. Boys. The boys. The boys. <laughs>
What's up, everyone? Aaron Nagler here, PackersNews.com. I'm here with Pete Doherty of the Green Bay Press Gazette after the Packers shellacking of the Pittsburgh Steelers in their second preseason game. Pete, once again, Jake Kumaro all over the field, big plays galore. And once again, Jamon Moore, a rookie wide receiver, having trouble holding on to the football, save for one play where he caught a slant that was called back due to penalty. Other than that, he couldn't haul anything in. Is there a realistic possibility here that Kumaro, an undrafted guy who's bounced around the league for a few years, could take a spot from one of these rookie wide receivers? I think there is. I mean, I don't know if I'd bet on it quite yet because they could keep seven too, and they could, so they could keep all the rookies and Kumaro if they if they want to. Um, but more, this is the second week in a row where you know he's it's a deep ball. Boyle put it right on the money and he dropped it. If he catches it. He doesn't stumble. He probably it's probably a long touchdown. Same thing happened last week. So those are two, those are the kind of plays that win games. And so, you know, that can get you cut. And the last time a fourth, I just looked this up. The last time a fourth round pick uh, got cut, who was healthy uh, before that, you know, didn't make the fifty three man roster to start the season. Can you? I, I'll give you just a quick guess if you can guess who it is. Uh, I have that, no clue. It was Corey uh, Rogers, and I think it was 06 or right. 07. Um, so that's going another wide receiver, over. right? Yeah, those four, th- yeah, and he was more a special teams guy, I think. But mm-hmm. yeah, he just he just got cut, and uh, so it's you know those fourth rounders usually make it. It's it's not very often when they don't. And uh, I'm not saying Moore's going to get cut, but um, if things don't pick up, it's it's on the table. And you look at I know the idea that these guys have been drafted, whether it is Moore, uh, Velda, Scantling, uh, Saint Brown. It's not out of the realm of possibility that one of the one or more of those guys ends up on the practice squad. You look at last season; they have D'Angelo Yancey was a draft pick who ended up on the practice squad. So, this idea that drafted guys are untouchable doesn't really hold water, does it? It, it doesn't. Now, uh, it depends what they show on these preseason games because if they do, if they show some real ability, if you cut them, you risk getting the guy picked up by a team that's just really hurting that receiver, and they might have liked the guy going into the draft, and. Uh, Scantling, uh, Velez Scantling has looked, you know, he's showed enough. I think he's got a real good shot at making it. St. Brown, uh, you know, I think he had a, up and down. kind of a drop today, but he's yeah. made some plays too. Um, you know, there's still a chance all three could make it too. If, Like I said, if they flash something, then if the Packers cut them, then there's always a risk that a, a receiver poor team that like those guys going in the draft might pick them up. There you go. All the latest from Lambeau Field. Make sure you're checking PackersNews.com for all the latest. For Pete, I'm Aaron. We'll talk to you soon. A and Z, Steve Loeb, all around the motherfucking globe, nigga. And you know how we do this here, nigga. We do that there. Pull up a chair, bitch. Living legends in your presence, learn the lessons. We stressing this all platinum. We make it. Living legends in your presence, learn the lessons. We stressing this all platinum. We make it. Too sweet, knock a nigga on his back Penitentiary six, I'm swinging on this track Call me Bruno the boy. I'm living much too large Muscle hard, disregard before I pull your card No the vote card, when I enter the spot Pull some cock before 12 and a dot You think I'm not, here's the plot Hair laid, gang play back laid At the snooty fox getting some brain Ain't no reason to hate, nigga I ain't choose my fate I'm a pretty motherfucker like a fag I wanna go straight, wait And let these pretty niggas speak If you continue to doubt, I'll pull your bitch before next week Lazy cast and ice, making a return like those spikes. Nigga, high yellows back in. Would even Mac take and join the club? Even though we bang in blood, this is a pretty nigga click pocket stick and we did. Oh, you a thug, you a thug, you a thug, nigga, what? So bust your gun, nigga, you a thug, nigga, what? What the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck, nigga, what? So throw it up, nigga, you a thug, nigga, what? What the fuck, nigga, you a thug, nigga, what? So bust your gun, nigga, you a thug, nigga, what? What the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck, nigga, what? So throw it up, nigga, cause you know we get caught. Throw it up, throw it up, throw it up, nigga, what? Don't so brush your luck, nigga, cause you know we throw it stuff. Nigga, what, nigga, what, nigga, what? Type of shit we bring your way. Cast lazy and ice tea, and nigga, we got them throwaways. Go away, haters, and the fake then had a time. They gon' rape me with this rhyme, nigga, I break you with this nine. Nigga, it's all about perfect timing, feel me? Or till the Lord call me home, and nigga, you better steal me. I'm trying to get the dollar, holla, holla, swerving in the pile. And nigga, we stay in here, we got time to get it. Put your hands on the floor, and take this back at me, it's cool, so we fake that nigga.
rap inventor Slam like the Lakers at the Staples Center Big pimp representer Half you motherfuckers meant her Not your main bitch inventor Left her with the baby in her I'm mainly known for endless funds Plastic guns, boosting and bitches Cars and switches Known to rep the hardest city out on the west Known to break a bitch in an hour or less The indoor gun buster The crowd move quick to bring the gravity to you With the nine move or reach out Touch you with the chrome duster The pearl clutcher I started this shit And this a thanks I get You fake killer niggas get no dap Play the back Don't know genie when you see me No eye contact Cause you can find yourself in your back Looking up at a blurry paramedic I said Throw it up, throw it up, throw it up Living legends in your presence Learn the lessons we stress in the city Racing down the field, they don't want a replay here. They don't want a challenge. And Andy Reid is going to. 